When two lines meet at a point, they form a corner. The mathematical word for a corner is an angle. An angle measures how much you have to rotate one line to reach the other. We mark this angle with a little arc. Let's compare angles with distances. A distance measures the length of a line between two points. There are many different units for measuring distances. Uh, meters, miles, light years. As with distances, there are several units for measuring angles. The most common are degrees and radians. We'll focus on degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle. That little circle up above is the degree symbol. This means you have to rotate a line segment 360 degrees to make a complete revolution. If you rotate a line segment a half turn, you get a 180 degree angle. This angle is called a straight angle because the angle looks like a straight line. If you rotate a line segment a quarter of a turn, you get a 90 degree angle. This angle is called a right angle because the angle stands upright. In this special case, we no longer mark the angle with an arc, but instead we draw a tiny square. This is because squares have four right angles. When you draw two line segments to make an angle, the point where they meet is called the vertex. If you don't know the size of the angle, then it's common to use the Greek letter theta to represent the size of the angle. You may see other letters used for angles, but theta is the most common. We can classify angles by their size. To begin, let's collapse these two line segments so that they overlap. Here, they form an angle of zero degrees. If we increase the size of the angle so that the size is bigger than zero degrees, but less than 90 degrees, we call it an acute angle. If we increase the size some more until it is precisely 90 degrees, we call it a right angle. If we enlarge the angle some more so that it's bigger than 90 degrees, but smaller than 180 degrees, we call it an obtuse angle. And lastly, if we increase the angle until it forms a straight line, we call it a straight angle.